Hey folks, we're back on this screen. What does that mean? It means it's DLC time. I bought the DLC season pass some time ago, uh, and uh, decided I was gonna wait until all the DLC was out before I actually played any of it. I know a little bit about what I'm getting into, but not very much. I've been trying to, kind of as usual, you guys kinda know me by this point, I try very hard not to uh, spoil myself too much on what I'm actually about to play. So I made an effort, a conscious effort, to not really spoil myself, so I have a little bit of an idea of where I'm going and what I'm doing, at least to start things up, and uh, apparently the game's going to teach me. Uh, so we have the Isle of Armor. Uh, we have an armor pass, show it to the rail staff at Winter Station. If you want to visit the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to set out a new adventure where you can catch rare Pokemon and grow team. So I know we have the Isle of Armor. We also have the Isle of, what is it, Frost? It'll probably tell me in a second. There's my armor pass. Crown Tundra, there we go. We have a crown pass. Show it to the rail staff at the Witcher Station. If you want to visit the Crown Tundra land where many mysteries lurk within. The adventurers await there, and the blanketing snow hides the legendary Pokemon of yore. And a crown pass. And it looks a little bit like this. Okay, so let's uh a look here, decide what I want to do. Um, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory, a, a lot of a lot of Pokemon that are currently uh currently with me, but I honestly think we don't really want this, right? We don't really we don't really want a uh a team that just flat wins. Uh, I wanna I wanna figure out what my original team was. So let's go ahead and uh, got some Ditto. We'll, we'll figure out stuff with the Ditto eventually. I don't even remember why I have a double sitting here. Do I have a double sitting in my inventory? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm also glad I did not uh, empty my uh, my my Dex inventory here. We got a Pikachu floating around, floating around somewhere. I wonder why. Probably the the Dynamax Pikachu. When I need to. Uh, need to deal with it, right? Let's see, so this is my gigantic. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's the, there's the Gigantamax. So I had my, I had my folder of, of Gigantamax. Some exclusives I want to trade away. There's some trade bait. Uh, but uh, I don't have a box of party pokes. Kind of a problem. Uh, let's um. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of organizing before I begin, because frankly, I'm going to need the space, because we got a lot of stuff uh, we're going to be able to, uh, we're going to be able to do. So we're going to go ahead and move our trade bait folder all the way over here. Change this thing's name. This is going to be raids. So I'm doing this on uh, Pokemon Sword, so I do have Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Um... You know, we will be uh we will be doing both eventually I don't know necessarily like am I gonna actually on screen do both I have multiple trade bait folders we're gonna go ahead and take my Gigantamax folder drop it on over here Again, not uh not entirely sure if uh be seeing more of these. I've been really really trying not to get too much into the DLC, honestly. Okay, so I have a I have a slow uh slow poke. I'm not hundred percent sure why I have a slow poke. Oh right, this was the one that I got um right. This is the this is the just the one that they just gave you. That's why I have that. Right. Okay. So I don't think uh, Zacian and Zamazanta are actually going to end up being part of my team. As much as I as much as I enjoy them. I have two Eternatus for some. Uh, let me try to figure out what was my team. That's the. Uh... That's the that's the name of the game. That's the that's the question of the day. What was my team? So I know that we had the Aegislash, Slash, which had False Swipe. I'm probably gonna want that here. Um, 
Slowpoke, I'm going to drop you, like, here. Because I know you're going to be part of some of the DLC at some point. Uh, Eternatus, we're going to have... You have Luck Ensign. Yeah, I want that. Inteleon, do you... Uh, we're, you know, we're going to give you the Luck Incense. That sounds like an idea. We have multiple Luck Incense, is that what's going on? Can I sort this stuff? Thank you. I do have multiple incense. Okay. Do I not have, like, tech speed? Sped up? Hold on. Why is tech speed slow? Uh, you know what? It was probably something to do with some nonsense that I was doing uh, at a, at some point. Uh, let's turn autosave back on. Ah, there we go. Okay, so what was my... You know what? I bet you if I go look at my league card, it will tell me what my team was, right? Nope. <laughs> no, it will not. Ah, that's irritating. Okay. So yeah, the problem is I legitimately don't remember because it's been that long. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can figure it out. What was my team? So I want to actually have, you know, at least a similar team to what I was using um, when I go in. Very tempted to pull out the Mimikyu because I love Mimikyu. Mimikyu is one of my favorite Pokemon, uh, kind of, ever. So I kind of want to pull out the Mimikyu and just start leveling it up because it, uh, Mimikyu is ridiculous. And this is actually a pretty solid one. So you know what? I'm going to pull Mimikyu out. We'll have Mimikyu be here. Yes, I have an H slash and a Mimikyu. I got two ghost Pokemon. Uh, I don't think we're going to have to worry about it too much. And then I want one more because I know from the DLC. We're going to do Isle of, Ar Isle of Armor first. I know from the DLC that there will be... Um, there will be a poke that will be going with us for a, good, a goodly portion of the DLC. Uh, I really do want to have a Pikachu with me as well. Pikachu is also one of my favorites of all time. Mimikyu and Pikachu. Who would have figured it? Uh, is this... Did, did I did I play a lot with Noivern? That's a level 50 Noivern. I'm pretty sure I just evolved that. It's kind of left. Uh, let's see. I don't think I did a lot with Gallade. I think I was trying to have mostly a party of, you know, just... Uh, just the new folks, right? I wasn't really messing around with old folks, I don't think. Uh, but I have no idea. I, I don't know what my... What my party was comprised of. That's right, we had Corviknight. There we go. There's my boy. Okay, now I remember. Um, we're gonna go ahead and drop you in a trades. I doubt anybody's gonna trade for an uh, Eternatus, because everybody gets it for free. But we'll go ahead and drop an Eternatus in. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to bring Vika Volt as well. And that will, uh, that will round out my team. Okay, cool. So I am still trying to remember how to play this game effectively. Uh, it has been some time since I last did anything in, uh, this. And that includes in, uh, that absolutely includes doing any level of even speedrunning it. Like, I haven't really done anything much. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we're in Wedgehurst, so it wants me to go... Ah, uh, no, this is not where I go. It's, it's it's just below this, right? Yeah? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, let's see. Armor Pass. That fashion you can be Isle of Armor. You have a Crown Pass, too. You can go to the Crown Tundra. Where'd I like to go? Let's go to the Armor Station. Okay. So what we just take a we take a train very quickly over to a yeah to a flight and then fly over, okay. I'm assuming we can just fly over here at any time now. Now that we've gotten here by access of uh or the Corviknight taxi. I love that it's basically a car that just a Corviknight carries. 
Hello. This is your first visit to the Isle of Armor? It is. I'm researching Pokemon biology here on this island. You want to register the Pokemon you catch on this island to your Pokedex, right? I'll update your Pokedex so you can do just that. Oh, why, thank you. Pokedex is being updated. Blah, 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 blah. The Isle of Armor Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. Great. When you've caught a lot of Pokemon on the Isle of Armor, come back and show me your Pokedex. We'll do when we catch every single last one of them. So that's going to be the idea, is that we are first going to catch every Pokemon we can, and then we'll move on to the next DLC. And I'll just kind of be doing this slowly over time, which is one of the reasons why I'm not streaming this. Uh, I think I had originally uh, done a lot of streaming of my original playthrough of... Um, uh, Pokemon Sword, but uh, we're not going to be streaming this. I'm going to be doing this offline, just kind of at my pace. I have a lot of other projects I'm working on at the time, so I think there's not a lot of good reason for me to uh, uh, stream this as opposed to doing this offline. I'm supposed to join the dojo on this island today, but there's a strange person standing outside the station. I'm a bit scared to head out. Okay. And he runs. Okay, cool. Well, you certainly look strange. Aha, there you are. Right on time, too. You're pretty punctual for a kid. Hmm. Hey, have we met before or something? Doesn't really matter, I guess. I think if I remember correctly, and I mean, this was months ago, but they did the big update of uh, Pokemon uh, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield that allowed you to kind of bring in Pokemon from older games. And, because, uh, you know, Pokemon Home came out and all that good stuff. And I think we had, didn't we have, like, a, a temporary, like, quick meet of this person? That's where I got the Slowpoke. Well, hi. I'm Clara. I've been at the dojo a while, so they sent me to help out the newbie. What dojo? Oh, come on. I know you're the new student who's supposed to join the master dojo. Am I? Is that what I am? What's going on? Am I being mocked by a kid? I'm the colorful, caring, and charismatic Clara. Well, then, how about we have a quick battle? Just so, you know, we can see who's better. I'm waiting outside, so come, out when, uh, come on out when you're ready. <laughs> this is not going to end for you. Never know what hit him. Yeah, that's my line. Okay, let's see what's going on. So we got a Pokemart. I want to just check a couple things. Uh, first of all, do I have... Uh, I don't have as many Ultra Balls as I would like to have. So let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's see. How about 63 Ultra Balls? So let's get a good round 99. And then, let's see. What is the rest? So I have... Uh, make sure I have a full complement of everything. I have 15 revives. 12, 10... 10, 8, 15, 13, good. 19, 19, and the rest doesn't really matter, let's be fair. What's this? Which station would you like to head to? I don't want to head to any station. Okay, so, who do I want to lead off with? I don't know anything about this. Um, You know what? I think leading off with Inteleon is fine. I love that Corviknight is a good 12 levels above Inteleon. Um, you know what I'm also going to do is, uh, let's go to my boxes. So now that I know... So Slowpoke, we still don't know, like, the, the Dex has been updated, but we don't know what Slowpoke is. Uh, we don't have its number. I'm going to drop Slowpoke into my inventory, uh, because I want it to evolve. And we'll just catch other Slowpoke in the future. Okay, out we go. I should probably select, select Mystery Gift, too, because I haven't done that in a while. Okay, so we are now on the Isle of Armor. Man, we I, I have a lot of catching to do. <laughs> but this is your first time in the Isle of Armor. It is. I bet you can't wait to start exploring, but first things first, we need to make sure you're ready. So I've already been at the Master Dojo for a little while now. I'll be the one testing you out. Go easy on me, okay? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. The hell is this battle pose? Control yourself, lady. Don't break your Pokeball. Oh, lady, I'm so sorry for you. Wait, Venipede? Not even an evolution, just a Venipede? Remember, it's just a test, so take it easy. I'll be nice and gentle as I knock you out flat. <laughs> You're cute. Sunlight is harsh. Is it? it it's, in the, it's the middle of the night. What, what is this What is this sunlight is harsh nonsense? Um, let's see. Do we just want to... It's going to Hydro Pump. Which you avoided, of course. Tw you know, 20% chance, 1 in 5 chance to, to miss. And she gets a critical off. Look, the first damage you took on the Isle of Armor. Consider the little gift from me. Lady, you're lucky I didn't lead with Corviknight. You'd be dead already. Can we try this again? There we go. And one shot. Cool. Pokemon gain experience. Hey, you two, level up a bunch. Hmm. 
Hmm. Good job, you. Wants to learn Shadow Snake? Absolutely. Shadow Snake is a fantastic move that always goes first. It's basically quick attack for, uh, for ghosts. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Scratch. I should probably get rid of, you know, Splash, but... Uh, we'll go ahead and skip Double Team, and Slowpoke levels up. About to send out a Slowpoke. Mmm. Hey, Corviknight. Actually, no. Equal. I forgot if I mentioned in the original Let's Play, but when I did uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, my original playthrough Sun and Moon, I used a Vigavolt because I generally try to go with these, like, new Pokemon. And, uh, I went Vigavolt, it was my main, and, uh, oh my god, the stuff this Pokemon does. Level 60, uh, thing. Oh, I have a Vigavolt that has no, uh-oh, <laughs> it's no electric moves. Um, we'll go ahead and do Bug Buzz, though. That's fine. Bye. I gotta fix that. We'll have to go look see if I have any electric moves to give to this Vigavolt. That being said, this Vigavolt's probably not gonna be in my party for very long. Look, Pokemon gets level 20. Well, have fun with that. Vendor Clara gets beaten. Oh, my next Pokemon's gonna make short work of... That was my last one. Yeah, you came at me with two. I have six. Huh? No, no, no. No, no, no. There must be more than some mistake. Not good. Not good at all, man. how this kid get so strong? I am the champion. This kid joins the dojo. Nobody's gonna pay attention to my strength. I could just tell him to buzz off. No, they asked me to bring in the new student. Stop talking to yourself. <clears> Ahem. <throat> hey, that wasn't bad. I mean, it's not like I was going all out. Not at all, but still. But, you see, our dojo is one that's got a long-standing reputation. Even the famous champion Leon trained at our place. No offense, but maybe, just maybe, you're not quite good enough to make it. So, how about this? Why not enjoy the sights, but just stay away from the master dojo over there, okay? Here, I'll even give you this, you know, as a souvenir. We obtained a style card. Okay. A card that increases the selection in boutiques and hair salons. Oh, neat. Just show it when you visit a boutique or a hair salon, and they'll let you buy stuff that's unavailable to most people. Anyway. Guess that's that. See you never. <laughs> what a jerk. In here? No? Okay. Okay, first of all. I, I'm a little bit upset about that Vigo. I'm a, it wasn't part of my... It was obviously not part of my... Uh, part of my setup. So let's make sure we actually throw some stuff in here. Uh, do we... Like... Thunder or something? Really? I mean, that's not bad. Um, let's go ahead and give it Electroweb. I think a slow that I can do, as opposed to, like, let's say, as opposed to Guillotine. I, I really don't like the instant kill effects, because they just so rarely hit. Okay, but do we, do we not have, we have a False Swipe, which is good. Oh my god, we don't, we don't have one. We don't have any, no electric type moves. What is this nonsense? Exigure is good. I can't. I, I can't remember. Like Vikavolt. If I remember correctly, Vikavolt is it, it's a special type, right? Like, special is its is its stat. Yeah, it's super special attack. So we want special. Yeah. I had to think about it because it starts as physical, I think, and then eventually becomes special. Wild charge is physical, unfortunately. Nope. Okay, well, you know what? We gave it a thing. Okay, so we are uh, so we are in the Isle of Armor. Now, what is cool about the Isle of Armor is that... Uh... Yeah, let's start over here. What's very cool about the Isle of Armor is that it is a... Uh... It's entirely a wild zone. I do remember hearing about that. Uh, what level is Jiggly... Okay, so, so the Jiggly Bitch is uh, a high level. Uh, I need, like... We'll swap into Aegislash. What I need here is, um... I need someone with, like, Thunder Wave or Hypnosis or something. Yeah, Hyper Voice doesn't work on me. Okay, so we're gonna be doing a lot of catching. Um, so do expect a fair amount of catching. Do expect a, uh... Excuse me? Oh, why did I... How? 
I don't want that. I want this. I want false swipe. Now, don't ask me why I chose Aegislash as my uh, as my catcher Pokemon among like all of the things I could have uh, chosen. I think it's just because I did not have another tremendously good option. Normally, I like to do just standard Pokeballs, but I'm not going to waste time on doing that. I will have my standard Pokemon Pokeball catch uh, in the future. So there's our Jigglypuff. And we're going to be gaining a fair amount of experience, so this is going to level people up. Uh, want to learn Baby Doll Eyes? I actually am not a fan of Baby Doll Eyes. Slowpuff wants to do Headbutt. We'll go ahead and... Uh, where are we going to toss that in? We'll toss it in for Yawn. Okay, so now that we're actually starting to catch Pokemon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop... Uh, I'm probably going to drop Vikavolt, actually, even though I just did uh, add it to my party. So that way I can get experience on these new Pokemon. The Jigglypuff has top-notch lung capacity, even by comparison to other Pokemon. It won't stop singing its lullabies until its foes fall asleep. Uh, we're going to send to a box. Primarily because the Jigglypuff uh, is not a... Um, But we don't know what number it is, which is very weird. I'm trying to figure out, like, why that would be the case. I'm gonna toss Peekable in here. Why on earth would that be the case? Why on earth would I not be able to see what number it is? I have the, uh, I have the thing, right? We got a Fomantis. Oh, I, that's right. I gotta swap to, uh... I gotta swap Aegislash into the front. But Mantis was such a weird Pokemon in Sword and Shield. Or not Sword and Shield, in um, Sun and Moon. I remember, like, Fomantis coming to the fore in the uh, the Grass Trial. Uh, and uh, I always thought it was such a, such a weird poke, especially when you saw it, like, outside of Grass Trial. Yeah, Sunny Day doesn't work when there's, uh, you know... No sun. Very, very weird stuff, right? It's a weird grass mantis type. Okay, so my question is, what the game did prior to now is it did this thing where it told you, hey, the next Pokemon you should chase is this over here. Bathed in sunlight, this Pokemon emits a pleasantly sweet scent, which causes bug Pokemon to gather around it. Oh, it's just grass. Okay. So does does the Pokedex do that again now? Now that we uh now that we go over here? Hot 104 of the 105 Pokemon in the Isle of Armor. Uh but no, it doesn't really have it doesn't have that uh that recommendation. Got a max revive, okay. Yeah, there's a there's a lot to do. Uh I already have a Buneary. I don't really want another one. Oh, okay. What I might do, uh, yeah, I need to catch another one of these anyways. That way I have two. What I might consider doing is I might consider, uh, I'll, you know what, I, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna push the storyline. That way we get a lot of, like, sighted options, so we know where, uh, so we know where Pokemon are, and then we'll go catching. I just realized how silly this is gonna be if I try to do this any other way. Okay, you do that. So we're gonna be doing the same thing I did in uh, in the previous Let's Play, is that we are going to be, uh... oh, nice, instant catch. Quick catch. Some level ups. Looking forward to this Slowpoke uh, evolving. Uh, no, I did not want to add this to my party. Thank you, though. Send this to a box. Okay, let, let's do that thing I talked about. So first of all, let's go ahead and uh, 
swap here and then Aegislash, slash i need to check your summary and i need you swap false swipe up for king shield what's this for a vibe cool let me pokes out there what is that uh I, oh, there we go. Oh, that's a, um, right. That's one of those things. Okay. Holy. Okay, I've got to go look at this. Is that actually catchable? Like, there's been jokes about how big Whalmer are. But my question is, is this Whalmer catchable? Calcium, okay. And I forgot that we have this ability. Bring it, Shar uh, Sharpedo. Do I actually have Sharpedo? Or is this a new thing? Should tell me, right? I do not. Cool. All swipe. Get me a Sharpedo. Take down. <laughs> You're funny. That's a normal move. I'm a ghost. Screw you. I'm a ghost. Naturally rough skin. Problem is, Sharpedo also has a bad habit of having dark type moves. Ow! <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's have, let, let's pull Corviknight out. And Corviknight, the problem is Corviknight's very likely to one-shot this thing. If I was to let Corviknight actually fight it. Um. Let's, yeah, let's uh, power trip. Gonna have to hit it a couple of times. I'm not particularly worried about Sharpedo actually uh, hitting Corviknight. Okay, so we need to have a Pokemon, Ow, that has a certain level of... God, I need to hit you again. It might take out Corviknight, actually. So my Corviknight, unfortunately, did not get a um, one of the like big bonus Corviknight things. So I might end up like reading up another Corviknight in the future. Because Corviknight has a, a a different base skill uh, than um, a Nerve, which is better. I remember what it is, though. It's been so long. How did you not get caught? So we're going to go a little longer than normal in this uh, episode of uh, Let's Play Pokemon uh, Sword, the DLC. Let's play Pokemon Sword Isle of Armor, really, is what I'm probably going to call this, right? Uh, we're going to go a little bit longer than usual because I did just have such a slow start to it. Are you kidding me? Dude, you are not this good. If you kill yourself, I'm going to be so upset. That looks like a crit capture. Yep, that's a crit capture. Get caught. Beautiful. Cool. Slowpoke's hitting level 23. I'd love to see Slowpoke level or evolve at some point. Sharpedo's date will be added to the Pokedex. As soon as it catches the scent of prey, Sharpedo will jet sea water for its backside, hurtling towards the target to attack at 75 miles an hour. Uh, set it to a box. God, now I have to go actually revive y'all. How'd y'all let that happen to you? Like, seriously. Uh, you know what I could do? How, how many... Do I have, like, rare candies and such? I do. Um... I also have a candy XL too. Will this be enough to uh, evolve you, or to level you up? Yeah, easily. So, oh wow. Uh, is Fomantis a grass stone? Fomantis might be a grass stone. You know what? I have to. You know what? 
I haven't had this website open in so long, but one of the things I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Bulbapedia open. Because I don't remember a lot of this stuff. It's been so long. It's Fomantis Grassstone. Uh, leveled up in the day, which unfortunately doesn't work because that's 2.23 a.m. Okay, cool. Uh, how about a Sharpedo? I think Sharpedo is just by itself, right? Doesn't evolve. Uh, evolves from Carvana, actually. So uh, it's already evolved. So yeah, that makes a good amount of sense. And I know that's slow, uh, slow bro. Or slow poke has slow bro, but that's going to take a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and... Do I, do I need a Tentacool? That's the problem with playing as many Pokemon games as I have. I don't remember, like, what stuff I have anymore. Because do you have any, any idea how many Tentacool I have caught over the years? I, it, to answer the question, I have caught an awful lot of Tentacool over the years. Like, tons and tons and tons. Ow. Unfortunately, these folks are all level 60, so they uh, they hit like a truck. I do remember hearing a complaint that uh, some people had about um, you know, about this uh, about this game, is that uh, you can come to the Isle of Armor early, early, early. You know, like you don't have to wait until you know end game sections that we're sitting here. Uh, do I want mimic? You know what? Just for fun, because it is a mimic. You, we'll go ahead and toss mimic in there. Uh, yeah, let's take Zen Head. We'll do that instead of uh, Growl. But you can come in here immediately, but everything's level 60, so you're just going to get wrecked. Okay, so there's a Tentacool. It's not a particularly strong swimmer. It drips across the surface of shallow seas as it searches for prey. Uh, that's going to go to the box. We're going to get there eventually. Another Sharpedo. I really don't have any interest in you. Can you go away? Like, I, I, I don't want to deal with you. You're obnoxious. I already have one. Please. I don't need to level up. Like, I have I have plenty of level up. Ah, uh, we're coming. There we go. Yeah! Holy crap. You actually get to go and just encounter the Whale Lord. Okay, so we're... Oh my god, it's level 80. <laughs> and I already have one, too. Uh, we're gonna run. <laughs> we're just gonna... We're just gonna run. I'm not dealing with this. Later. Okay, good to know. That's kind of neat, though. You know... You know, I do want to go to this den over here, however. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already have that. That's like another Sharpedo. Nope, not interested. Go away. Oh my god, there's Sharpedo everywhere. That Sharpedo, that is also Sharpedo. Uh, clever feather. Nice. Pretty sure I already have one of those. No! Oh! I can already tell that it is going to be annoying to be in the water catching stuff. But yeah, we had, we had a very slow start as I tried to remember where we were, we were doing things like that. So we'll go for another like 10 minutes or so. We'll make this a 50% uh, longer episode than usual. And then we'll kind of move on. So irritating. I always found it weird that if you look at Sharpedo, uh, its eyes actually are effectively inside of its gills. You see this a lot in some of the older games, uh, when the uh, um, camera is kind of sidelong to, your, to the character. Okay, let's see what's going on inside of here. Uh, that's a thing we don't have. That is a, uh... I was curious how this one would work. Okay, do I have... Hold on. I gotta say, I think I have that already. I think that's a, a Malamar. Actually, I can probably see it in here, huh? I think that's what this is called. He 
go. Yeah, that's a Malamar, and I already have it. So we're not going to bother with that. We're just going to move on. Oh, you're just going to be a jerk, huh? I need another tentacle. I'll grab another one closer to shore. Now we get to go up a river. The fields of honor. How do I, uh... No, you. Let me get back on land. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and just false like this. I do need, as I said, I I need a tentacle. Like I uh I do need one of these. So this is not a terrible thing to do. I'll probably have to wait until daytime for my next episode, which is gonna be a, you know a good couple hours. It is. Stop me if you've heard this one before. I've been having trouble sleeping lately. Yeah. So uh, it is actually you know 2:30 a.m. I gotta wait till daytime to level up that obnoxious little thing. But a lot of these Pokemon, because we're catching them at like level 60, they're going to evolve instantly. Like Tentacruel is a very early level up. Or maybe not, level, not an early level up, it's an early evolution. Oh. Hello. Now there's, yeah, there's beach right here. Speaking of things that we have to catch. I need to catch another one of you. I probably just want this one, right? Like, we, we actually need two more, at, uh, in point of fact. We need, uh, we need one, uh, to evolve into Slow Bro. And then we need another one to evolve into Slow King. What I'm curious about is how the Slow King one's gonna work. And one thing I'm re I'm really excited to do uh, whenever I get a chance. This is gonna suck. One of the things that I'm really excited to do when I get a chance is I really want to do another. Um... Well, that's irritating. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I want to do another uh, Wonder Trade uh, speed run. Because of all the new Pokemon that got added, that's gonna add such an interesting set of options to run through. So yeah, I will be doing, uh, we're just going to swap this for the other one. Unless that one just e evolves right now. <coughs> Not happening. Go ahead and add that to our party in favor of the other Slowpoke. Okay, we do need to catch one more. Does there happen to, yes. Ooh, and there's a Kingler. Go grab that too. So we definitely need this other one. So yeah, I expect to see a lot of catching. Um, I am going to start pushing the storyline, so we'll see if we can go do the next portion of the DLC storyline in just a minute. Uh, make our way up there, at least. Uh, I do want to go see what was up with that last back there. I'll tell you one thing that's been keeping me uh, kind of in a Pokemon mood, getting me kind of going, is uh, I was able to get... Uh, I guess, soundtrack rips of some of the uh, music from Pokemon Sword and Shield. And, uh, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, the, uh, the, the gym themes, and the, uh, especially the champion theme, Marnie's theme, uh, Hop's, uh, theme from the, uh, from the tournament. All of those themes are glorious when working out. Uh, hearing, hearing those kind of epic fight themes is, uh, pretty darn cool. Also, I think what we're going to do, I'm going to XL Candy this Slowpoke. This Slowpoke should evolve? No? Really? You're kidding me. At level 60? Huh. Apparently, there are new items to evolve it. 
Maybe just all of this stuff is going to be pre-evolved for me. Because so far, the only things we've seen at low... Uh, well, no, we've seen the Fomantis, and that just doesn't evolve at a reasonable time of the day. Oh god, I'm gonna I just realized that I'm gonna be doing so much breeding. I'll have to go figure out what poke I have that has a uh uh what have you, one of the like uh the magma armor. Has a magma armor effect, so we can hatch eggs. Maybe we'll get a shiny. We haven't seen a shiny yet, have we? I don't think we have. There's our Kingler. I think we're going to go ahead and call it uh, in terms of catching here, and we'll start going dancing on. This is just going to take absolutely forever. That Mimikyu is starting to get strong, though. I mean, we need to get to level 60. It's going to take forever, but... Uh, okay, so we'll... I mean, it doesn't really matter. So now I know that I need an item in order to uh, evolve Slowpoke. We have a rock rough? I don't think so. Look at all these pokes. I mean, apparently we're gonna be sitting here catching for a bit because I keep on seeing ones we don't have. Now rock rough's gonna be a pain because rock rough is rock type. I'm assuming its evolutions are going to be yeah, not very effective. I'm assuming its evolutions are going to be uh version specific. It's going to be my guess. Oh, nope. I take it back. It is time-based. Cool. Let's get this guy into our party. Yeah, please do not knock out my Aegislash. I don't want to have to spend yet another uh, revive. I mean, I'm going to have to get another max potion on it. Fomantis is leveling up again. We'll, we'll evolve that Fomantis. I'm not too worried about that. We've got Rockruff. So, this Pokemon can bond very strongly with its trainer, but it also has a habit of biting. Raising a Rockruff for a long time can be challenging. So, we're going to go ahead and just swap out that Kingler. And I need to see about this Rockruff uh, is what what uh, skill it has. What what, uh, what passive... Uh, call it. Ability. This one is Vital Spirit. Okay. Uh, ooh, a Clucky. So part of the fun of this, actually, is me trying to remember the names of all these folks. Because a lot of these folks, like, I don't remember these names. Uh, no, let me rephrase that. I do remember these names. A lot of these folks, I will remember who this is. Uh, I want a Sacred Sword this thing, but I think it's just going to... I think it'll flat die. The problem is, it's Steel type. So False Swipe is not going to do much. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and Sacred Sword it, and hopefully it will not die. Okay, unfortunately, I can't do that again. Ooh, and it hits you the dark type. Okay. Oh, we're absolutely pulling up the next Pokemon. Inteleon, let's go. Okay, so Clefkey will be the last thing we do for the night. Uh, and then tomorrow, I'll, you know, we'll be kind of pushing onwards. I'm catching everything I see. So if I see something I don't have, I'm going to catch it. Clefkey was caught. Elyon levels up. Awesome. And absolutely, Mimikyu. Absolutely get Hone Claws. Holy crap. Good uh, good things. That's going to make Mimikyu a powerhouse when it actually hits level 60. So, Clefkey. It's a key ring Pokemon Steel Fairy. The Pokemon is constantly collecting keys. They trust a Clefkey with important keys, and the Pokemon will protect it no matter what. Hopefully, it will actually give it back to you. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. 
We're going to go into our bag. We're going to grab... Actually, rare candies seem to be a better option than uh, XL candies at the moment. So we're just going to level up Rockruff. And that will evolve Rockruff. The problem is I need to evolve three of them and then catch a fourth. Because there are actually four, uh, three forms of Lycanroc. So this is going to be the Midnight form. I leveled it up at night. This form of Lycanroc is reckless. It charges headlong at its opponents, attacking without any care about what injuries it might receive. Or you can learn counter. I don't mind. So we're going to go ahead and stop here. Uh, I know I, I did want to, you know, kind of do more, but given that there's so many Pokemon to catch, we're going to be doing a lot of that as we kind of advance. Uh, we will be advancing the storyline next time. Thank you for watching, folks. I appreciate you all. If you do have a favorite Pokemon and you want to see me actually uh, kind of keep an eye out for them, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, you know, this is all going to be pre-recorded, kind of, which is my uh, typical, um, which is not going to uh, lead itself too well to actually doing that. But uh, I do want to hear from you guys. Let me know what your favorite is from Isle of Armor. Uh, I'll be curious. I've, I've actually seen them by the time you guys uh, actually make uh, again, we're going to be catching absolutely everything. It should be fun. But thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you all. I love you all. And I will see you next time.